let us forgive boundlessly reading from scripture matthew chapter 18 verses 21 and 22 then peter came to him and said lord how often shall my brother sin against me and i forgive him up to 7 times jesus said to him i do not say to you up to 7 times but up to 70 times 7 our practice of forgiveness should be based on the gospel which means that we forgive just as how god forgave us in our meditation today we looked at jesus's response to peter's question on how often we are to forgive someone who repeatedly wrongs or offends us peter was hoping to appear benevolent and truly forgiving and he attempts to seek a validation from jesus on his understanding of forgiveness and seeks to find if his generous and complete number of 7 would make him in right standing with god but jesus instead shows peter that there needs to be boundless forgiveness against the offenses committed against us that is many more times than what our human heart is often comfortable with Jesus's response of 70 times 7 indicates that that he was not limiting forgiveness to a mere 490 times but rather was reiterating a forgiveness principle which meant that forgive, forgiveness needed to be extended boundlessly limitlessly without counting this also made clear that this kind of forgiveness does not come from our own ability as humans but only by the forgiving spirit of god that is given to us only by the power that comes from living in christ jesus it is the lord jesus who gives us the ability to forgive over and over and over again just as we were forgiven over and over and over again extending forgiveness over and over again is a culture in god's kingdom for jesus it was a way of life where he forgave the sins of many people of the wrong doings of many people like the paralyzed man or the prostitute he even forgives those who crucified him so jesus paved the way for us and calls us to keep forgiving people The grace of God is made available for us to be able to forgive limitlessly. Have you examined your principles of forgiveness when you deal with your relationships? Do you think you are extending your forgiveness to your relationships? It could be a spouse, it could be a child, it could be a co-worker, or it could be a fellow believer. We are taught to forgive limitlessly forgiveness is not something to be meted out in a limited fashion but it is to be abundant overflowing and available to all just as the grace of god is poured out upon each one of us let us pray father god we thank you for teaching us how to forgive we also thank you for teaching us that we need to extend forgiveness limitlessly we pray that you would help us you would show us you would pour out your love in us even as we forgive someone who repeatedly wrongs us we know that we are not able but it is only out of your help and out of your spirit that we can extend the forgiveness towards people Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.